Johnston teen fighting for his life after crashing into a utility pole with his ATV earlier this month. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us live now in studio after talking with his family about his long road to recovery. Alex. Kim and Kayla, the Fortin family had several scares just this week after 16 year old Tyler had to undergo several emergency surgeries after developing pneumonia. Now he is not fully in the clear, but he is recovering and his family is now looking forward to this weekend when doctors will try to wake Tyler up. I'm nervous. You know, I don't know what to expect. Michelle Fortin and her husband Joseph are looking forward to telling their son Tyler how much they love him after doctors finally wake him up late Sunday night. Monday right now is our is our big our big day and then from there we're going to see what the next step is going to be. Tyler was out doing what he loved, riding his ATV with friends near his home in Johnston on February 10th when his family says he got a small leak on his back tire, which gave him a flat that caused Tyler to lose control and crash into a utility pole cracking it in half. Tyler survived but was seriously injured. It was very scary just to see see him in that state and then to see the amount of injuries that he has. We, we have no idea like how's how is he going to recover or how long it's going to take for him to recover. Tyler's family tells me he has a head injury along with several fractures and remains sedated to heal. His recovery almost miraculous as some of Tyler's fractures on his face and back have been able to self heal. I keep saying he's like superhuman, like the way he's healing. It's amazing. That's why Tyler's parents are focusing on the day by day, knowing their son is a fighter who will get through this long journey of recovery. He's a strong kid and he's really proved that to us through this whole process. So I have faith that he'll be end up being okay. And the family says they are grateful for all of the community support. They are planning to have a fundraiser for Tyler in the future. They also have a GoFundMe set up right now. So if you'd like to donate, we have a link to that on this story on our website, WPRI.com. Reporting live in studio, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. This weekend, doctors will try to wake up a Johnston teen who's been in a medically induced coma since an ATV crash earlier this month. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez talked with his family today and joins us live now with what they say helped save his life. Alex. Shannon, Tyler Horton is a fighter for sure after having to go through several emergency surgeries just this week alone. And though he has a long road to recovery, his family is just grateful he wore his helmet. For almost two weeks, 16-year-old Tyler Fortin has been at Hasbro's Children's Hospital fighting for his life. Oh, it's been a nightmare, <laughs> to say the least. A lot of crying, a lot of stress. Tyler's family say he was doing what he loved, riding his ATV with friends when he got a flat tire and crashed into a utility pole in Johnston. It's hard to see that this has happened based on, you know, just the decisions that, that I, we made just just to keep that father son bond going and, and strengthen it even more. But they're also grateful they stressed safety. At the end of the day, the most important thing is that he's alive and you know, thank God that he is. The helmet literally saved his life. He would not be with us today. Um, I don't even know how he's alive today, even with the helmet. Tyler has a long road to recovery after his parents say he suffered a brain injury and several fractures. He's heavily sedated. Uh, he was even breaking through the sedation. He's a fighter. He's strong. His parents now stressing for other kids and families with ATVs to make sure to wear a helmet. You don't want to be left in a situation where, you know, you're putting flowers next to a telephone pole and just instead of just visiting it and saying, OK, well, and we know he's at the hospital. Just, just please, whatever you do, make sure you wear your protective gear. It literally can mean life or death. And the family says they're grateful for all the community support. They're planning to have a fundraiser for Tyler in the future. They also have a GoFundMe set up. So if you'd like to donate, we have a link to that on this story on our website, WPRI.com. Reporting live in studio, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.